All right, everybody. So I lost pretty much all of the footage for my debug video, which really, really uh, is not amazing. So what I'm actually going to do is show how I did some of the things. I made uh, ammunition, I made a ammo counter, and I made barrels that drop uh, ammunition. In fact, you can see in this little scene I made, I have an ammo counter. Uh, and a health bar and when I shoot you can see the uh, ammo counter goes down and if I hold down it's full auto so uh, those bullets don't have physics I like physics on my bullets let's just do dynamic helps with collisions <laughs> realistic bullets right there you ever just ricochet That's funny. Anyways, so we got ammunition and all that. What I'm going to do is do a video on how we can make, uh, say, pickups or drops uh, come to the player. So if you've ever played, I don't know, Minecraft or Valheim or anything like that, you know you walk up to an object and it'll just come to you and go into your inventory. So we're just going to model a little thing here, little object, like so, alright, nothing super crazy, then we'll give it a new material, let's make it blue, so this is going to be our ammo box, alright, so what we want to do first is add a a near we want a near modifier or sensor so we'll add a near and we want it to be so whenever the player is uh, near of a distance of say three with a drop out or reset distance of three uh, we want it to we'll get ourselves an edit object and then we'll change this from add object to track two and we want to select our player now, if we uh, press play and we walk towards it, you can see it'll kind of just follow the player, but it's not moving at all. So what we can do is add, when you get near it, you can add a motion, connect these together, and we want this simple motion to be on the, what axis are we going? Y. So we want like 10 on the Y. So if we walk to it now, <laughs> it'll just come and destroy us. So let's actually give this a uh, rigid body factor with uh, box collisions. And then we can go object transform origin to center of volume to make it all line up with the collisions. And if we walk up to it, oh man, that is way too fast. Okay, so yeah. So let's make it 200. So when I, if you walk near it, it'll just hop to you. Yeah, that works a lot better. That looks a lot better. Now we can also make it so when it collides, when you have a collision with the player, it will uh, end itself. So, so you'll be walking by, you need this object, and then you can pick it up. It's pretty sweet. All right. Okay. So yeah, that's how you make a uh, object pick up a bowl like in a, any other game. But what we also want to do is make it so this actually does something when you walk up to it. So you're just walking to it, get some ammo. So we actually have a scene up here. So in HUD, if I go in, you see our ammo counter. So right now it's setting at a message of 30-06 ammo. Then it will add to our ammo count there. So what we want to do is take that. Well, what we want to do is make a, so go back to our game. Oops, that's the end game. Go back to here. So when it collides with the player, we want it to send a message. Connect those two together, the collision. Because you want, I like to put, uh, 
the first action that you want, like a message to be sent before it deletes the object. So I like to have it in order. I find it is more reliable. So we're going to send uh, this message to ammo. All right. Then the subject is our 30 out 6 ammo. And then I believe we also want to send that to our uh, counter on the uh, spawner because you want it to be in sync. So when it gets the message, all right, it's already set up. So when, actually, let's turn on debug property so we can see this work. All right, so we're at 20. So if we walk up to it, all uh, right, yeah, we're at 40 now. And then we can start shooting. Oops. Hmm. Okay. So I didn't send it to. Okay. So what we need to do is also make another message. So go here, make another message, connect it. And then this time we want it to go to muzzle. muzzle with the same subject so it sends it to both of them all right so now we can go in here and it'll give us 40 20 more rounds so we have 40 rounds all together and if you look up there you can see the muzzle also has 40 rounds and then our super droopy bullets will fly out of the barrel and then we have zero zero rounds now all right so that works pretty good. Now if we were to make, oops, I gotta turn that off. Make a couple of these, just place them around. You walk up to them and they'll just, doesn't even matter. Like you'll just come over to this side and it'll come to you. It's pretty sweet. And right now all <laughs> our ammo just keeps on going up. There's no limit. We don't have magazines or anything. But yeah, that's basically how you make the uh, make uh, pickups. Like you want to pick something up, having it come to you is a lot easier than, uh, say, making it so you look at it and press E. We might do that on a couple of things. Like if uh, weapons, you walk up to a weapon and you could look at it and press E or F or whatever you whatever you choose, and then you can pick that up. So that also might be a tutorial coming up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next.